we've put together some special segments for you. Sprinkled here and there in the middle of the regular Sowing Seed podcasts, we're planting episodes we're calling Growing the Seed. Here, we'll be documenting the steps we take along the Sowing Seed journey as we build a business and build a brand. You'll see it all when it works and when it's a little messy. So, right here, right now for you. Here's Growing the Seed with your host, Matt Miller. Let's talk a little bit about the podcast itself to begin with. And let me share with you a little bit of my philosophy. Everybody has their own way of going about this. Everybody has launched a podcast in a different way. To begin with, in my opinion, and following a lot of the thought process of Gary Vaynerchuk, for those of you guys that are uh, aware of Gary, audio is the wave of the future because with audio, people can multitask. And unlike video where you and I have to sit and watch to observe and be almost 100% engaged in order to get the most out of video, the beauty of audio is you can be working out, you can be mowing the lawn, you can be driving to and from work, you can be on an airplane, you can just be making dinner or doing chores around the house and can be passively learning with audio. Now, there's a lot of courses out there that you can take. There's YouTube videos that abound that will teach you podcasting. I personally chose to invest a little bit more money than most because I wanted to get trained by the best and I wanted to be able to go from start to finish in less than 30 days and begin producing my show, my first show, in that period of time. I was just in a situation where I've got so much going on, instead of trying to figure it out by piecing bits and pieces of, of videos or audio or whatever from folks who, who are sharing about it, I opted to pay for Cliff Ravenscraft's podcasting from A to Z course, I think it was, I don't know, $2,000, something like that for it to pay for that course, to get it done and to launch. So for those of you that are like me, in my opinion, it's worth the investment. Now, the one thing I'm going to ask you about, the one thing I'm going to challenge you about, because I've fallen into this trap before, is I've gotten excited about something. I've spent all kinds of money, and then I haven't followed through. Well, fortunately, this time, since we had SSV, we had the franchise, I had to do that in order to provide for our team in a way that I wasn't able to do otherwise. So I was able to jump in with both feet and figure it out as I went, and of course, since then, have launched multiple other shows both for our franchise team and for the general pub public with the school zone and now sowing seed. So anyway, it's really up to you what your resources are, what your availability of time is, et cetera. But like I said, for me, I wanted to take a course, figure it out and start instead of take months or years to get around to launching. So, as far as the podcast is concerned, I ended up buying the course. I ended up buying the equipment package that Cliff recommended. Um, I use a Roland uh, digital recorder to record all the audio to. And for the video here, I'm using an app called Zoom. Zoom can be uh, used for free. I use the paid for version, which I think is like $15 a month because I use Zoom on a regular basis with uh, our franchise team for video conferences and that type of thing. So that is completely up to you how you want to go about doing it. But in both cases, it's very, very simple process. In fact, with the, with the equipment, Cliff literally, you, I ordered a kit. It showed up. It had instructions and a diagram 
to show exactly how everything needed to be hooked up and set up. And once I got that done and the mixing board set up, aside from turning the thing on and off, I haven't done a whole lot since then. In fact, a dirty little secret, if something happened to my mixing board or all of a sudden it wasn't working right, I would be really hard pressed to figure out how the heck to get this thing back up and going again. So you don't have to be a sound engineer. You don't have to have an understanding of any of this stuff to get out and get in the game and to get active. So just keep that in mind. Too many of us are getting ready to get ready to get ready to do something. Too many of us are overthinking what we're doing. Instead of just jumping in with both feet, figuring it out, realizing that there's going to be mistakes made along the way, but very few of them can we not recover from. Now, as far as the website, my son Zane, who's 21, he's a junior at Hillsdale College. Um, I have paid him to put together the Sowing Seed website. Um, it's not complete. There's a lot that we have planned that we're going to do with it as time goes on. Uh, I plan on it not just being a podcast, but but having blogs. Um, we have video there already as well. But as an example, right now the About Me page has an old bio of me from my School Zone podcast bio that is populated on the website. I know, I know, I'm blowing it to do that. But Zane didn't have the content. I didn't have the time to put it together. And I, once again, wasn't going to wait to launch to have every last thing perfect. You guys got to realize in the month that the podcast has been live, we've had like 87 downloads. The majority of those people have never been to the website so the number of people who have actually seen the fact that my bio does not match the school zone, or excuse me, the sowing seed site is minuscule. They're not going for that anyway. They're going to hear the audio content. And in most cases, they're probably going because they know me and they want to check out what the heck Matt is up to now. So don't wait for perfection. Perfection is the enemy of progress. And in this case, I chose to move forward. We'll get the details worked out later. And a year, two, three years from now, this will be the most incredible website you've ever seen with all the functionality that I could ever imagine. But the resources are limited. The time is limited, but the information, in my opinion, has a lot of value. And therefore, it's better to get the information out there and to worry about those other details later instead of waiting to have all the ducks in a row, waiting to have all the, red, all the lights turn green in my town before I go somewhere. If you're listening to the show, we rescued a couple of kittens here a few months ago. This is Toothless, the sister. Uh, Midnight is the brother. And uh, not quite sure what's going to happen with them, but they oftentimes may be my companion while I'm here doing the audio podcast or doing these videos. Um, I had a show I was on the other day, and they were absolutely chasing each other all over the place. And the host and I had a huge kick in watching <laughs> and listening to them in the background. So anyway, far from perfect. By the way, my office here is an, a converted breezeway in our house here in the middle of Texas. We call it EIEIO outside of Stephenville, Texas. Cars used to be parked where I'm sitting right now. And we just put up some walls, some windows, and this is where... All of my companies are run out of, and all of my podcast shows and interviews are done out of. Not perfect, not some fancy building somewhere, not some fat, fancy cubicles or office space. I have always been about doing things cost-effectively, 
and starting with a minimum viable product and then as time and money allowed to continue to grow those things and to add more layers and more detail to the mix. Eventually we'll expand this place. Who knows, maybe I will have an office building somewhere downtown at some point. But in the meantime, once again, it's not about all that. It's about doing the work, moving forward. Most people aren't paying attention to that stuff anyway. And quite honestly, if they are, they're probably not a good fit for any of the businesses that I'm doing business in. And so I don't worry about it. And you shouldn't either. Thank you for listening to the Sowing Seed Podcast. If you enjoyed today's episode, please leave us a five-star review in iTunes or your podcast player of choice. So until next time, go plant the seed you need to succeed.